Welcome to the Lifetime Assembly Channel. My name is John, and today we're going to help you assemble your portable quick adjust basketball system with a 46 inch shatterproof fusion backboard. Before we get started, make sure the model number of your basketball system is listed in the description below. This video will follow the steps outlined in the assembly manual that comes with the basketball system, but if you've already begun and need help on a specific step, check the description below for a timestamp associated with each step. Now let's take a look at what comes inside the box. There are steps within this assembly that require two people, so be sure to have at least one other adult available to help. Before we get into the assembly process, let's take a look at the tools you'll need to complete the job. You'll need two 3 quarter inch wrenches, two 7 16 wrenches, two 9 16 wrenches, two half inch wrenches, a 3 8 wrench, two 3 16 Allen keys, which are included, and a Phillips head screwdriver. To make this easier, we're going to use a drill. You may see us use an impact driver. If you decide to use one as well, be sure not to over torque or over tighten the hardware. A socket adapter, a Phillips head socket, and a socket set. Depending on how you decide to fill the base of your system, you'll also need a hose connected to a water source or a funnel and 310 pounds of sand. This video is meant to be used as a companion to the assembly manual and not a direct replacement. So for the best results, make sure to have the assembly manual on hand during the build. It's also crucial that you refer to the assembly manual to review the safety instructions for this build to prevent serious injury or property damage. All right, let's get started. Take the top pole, which is the shortest of the three, and the middle pole, which has the warning label, and slide the top pole onto the middle pole, making sure the hole at the bottom of the top pole goes over the slot at the top of the middle pole. Add the hardware to the hole. This hardware will spin freely once it's inserted, and this is normal. Slide the bottom pole into the bottom of the middle pole using the same method as before. Insert the plugs into the holes on the middle pole, making sure the larger plugs go into the large holes and the smaller plugs go into the small holes. Make sure you've done the previous steps properly because the next step is irreversible. You're going to seed the poles together by striking each end on a piece of scrap wood or cardboard five or six times. You're going to need to use some force, so be careful not to hit your toes. It's important that you complete this step, otherwise your system could separate during use, causing serious injury or property damage. Attach the flat end of the pole brace to the base, making sure the angled end is oriented like this. Only finger tighten this hardware for now. With the pole oriented like this with the screws facing up, insert the large axle into the bottom hole, add the wheels, and then the spacers. Add the small axle to the hole just above where we added the other axle. Place the base over the long axle, making sure it rests in these notches. Step on the base and apply downward pressure until you hear the axle click into place. Lift the pole up until the small axle rests in these notches. While somebody holds the pole, attach the pole braces to the pole with the hardware.
Lay the pole on the ground and don't lift it back up until there's proper weight in the base. Now you can tighten the hardware on the other end of the pole braces. Place the U-bolt into these holes on the backboard brackets, making sure it's oriented like this. Fold the inner guard like this, and then place it in between the brackets, making sure the oblong hole lines up with the hole labeled number one. Add the hardware to hole number one to hold the inner guard in place. Only finger tighten this hardware for now. Add the other hardware to the small hole just below the larger hole on the brackets. Place a rim support channel on the back of the backboard into this cutout, making sure it's oriented like this. Now place the backboard brackets over the support, making sure the U-bolt goes into these holes. Flip the backboard over and then add the rim over the U-bolt and then add the washers and the nuts. Then add the remaining hardware to the bottom holes. Flip the backboard back over and bend the brackets so that the top hole lines up with these holes and then insert the hardware. Now go ahead and tighten this hardware from earlier. Attach the extension arms to these holes on the backboard bracket, making sure that the hole that's further away from the other holes is the one you're attaching to the backboard. Only tighten the hardware enough so that the bolt is flush with the end of the nut. Fold the edges of the outer guard up like this and then place the adjustment latch inside. Line up these holes with these holes on the backboard bracket, making sure that the adjustment latch goes inside the inner guard and that the outer guard goes in between the inner guard and the backboard brackets. Once everything's lined up, attach the extension arm to these holes using the same method as the other extension arms.
This may be a bit confusing, but just make sure you have everything in order going from extension arm to bushing to backboard bracket to outer guard, inner guard, adjustment latch, the other side of the adjustment latch, the inner guard, the outer guard, the backboard bracket, the spacer, and the other extension arm. Lift up the outer guard and the adjustment latch so that it lines up with the hole closest to the backboard on the upper extension arms. Into the hardware, making sure it goes through the upper extension arm, the outer guard, and the adjustment latch. With the help of another person, lift the pole up to the extension arms, making sure you're securing the extension arms to the poles through the hole at the end of the extension arm. The next few steps will go over how to fill the base of your system. Refer to your manual in section 5 to see how to properly do this. You can also click on this link here to see a video on how to do this. We've already filled the base of this system, so we're going to move on to the next step. Now go ahead and add the net to the rim. Once the net is on, you can remove the plastic film from the backboard. Thank you for watching this video on how to assemble your lifetime portable quick adjust basketball system with a 46 inch shatterproof fusion backboard. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team and check out our other awesome products at lifetime.com.